Hello students, welcome to Chemistry Wins YouTube channel. So this video session will deal with the topic superconductors. So what are superconductors? We know conductors, we know semiconductors, we know insulators. So here we are using a different term that is super superconductors. So let us see the definition. The substances that offers no resistance. The substances that offers a no resistance to the electric current that means to the flow of electrons when it becomes colder than a critical temperature are called as superconductors the elements like aluminum and substances like copper oxide yttrium lead indium some ceramic materials will behave as superconductors the temperature at which the electrical resistance of a metal will become zero is called as critical temperature or transition temperature. Normal conductors conduct electricity with some resistance, we know that. During this process, there will be some energy loss, loss of energy in the form of that appears as heat or light. But in case of superconductors, there is no loss of energy because the resistance is zero. So they allows electrical energy with 100% efficiency. So there is no resistance. The value of resistance is zero. So those materials are called as superconductors. So superconductors are the substances that allows electrical energy with zero resistance. The temperature, so to attain this condition that is the zero resistance, we need to cool down the superconducting material. The temperature at which a normal conductor will become a superconductor is called as a critical temperature or transition temperature okay so for example take aluminum if you cool the aluminum to the temperature of 1.2 kelvin it will behave as a superconductor aluminum is a normal electrical conductor indium also becomes a superconductor at the critical temperature of 3.4 kelvin mercury also becomes a superconductor at the temperature of 4.2 Kelvin. So there will be a particular specific temperature. So if you reach the, if you, if you, if you are making an effort to reach the temperature of that particular critical value, so that the normal conductor will behave as a superconductor. Then, so other day, superconductor and a material site electrical energy ni 100% efficient the resistance lay kunda allow chest ayo away super conductors okay so superconductors a particular temperature degree matrame zero resistance to electricity in allo chestai so our temperature man kentante critical temperature for example aluminium ki 1.2 kelvin temperature degra superconductor ga behave chestundi indium 3.4 kelvins degra superconductor ga behave chestundi mercury 4.2 Kelvin temperature degree superconductor behavior is not a particular temperature room to the temperature man and cool chale it a cool chest at upper and a critical temperature attain a theta a critical temperature reach a theta a normal conductor superconductor the behave chay do and a critical temperature will reach air and condi up to resistance zero a put on the conductance of hundred percent a put on okay and right so normal conductor so I put for example copper wire on the copper wire the electricity will turn the could say for the electrical supply up is the market copper wire and copper wire and the good chala heat down then meaning it and some of the energy is lost some of the electrical energy is lost in the form of heat okay then I'm on a resistance around to them so but the super conductor slow mother resistance and the wonder do complete the hundred percent electrical energy in a super conductor so pump is the but temperature maintain chayali a temperature and a temperature degra ok normal conductor superconductor ga behave chayidu so ok particular temperature and it on to the a temperature degra mathra me normal conductor superconductor behave just on the a temperature ne manamu critical temperature or transition temperature and imanam on to move okay randy right classification how the superconductors are classified so manamu three criteria factors this kundam Based on critical temperature, superconductors are two types, high temperature superconductor, low temperature superconductor. Then the second factor is based on chemical nature, based on chemical property. So we have chemical elements like mercury, lead, alloys like titanium, niobium, some ceramic materials, 
and some organic superconductors are also known. Then based on response to magnetic field, the criteria number 3, we have two types of superconductors. Those are type 1 superconductor and type 2 superconductor. So that is about the classification. Then what are the properties of superconductors? So superconductors, a two into properties, two piece. So superconductors will be having the conductivity of infinite value. So because the resistance is zero, because resistance is zero, conductance is infinite. Okay. Then critical temperature, we know that the temperature at which a normal conductor will become a superconductor is called as critical temperature. Each element has its own critical temperature. Then Meissner effect. So when the material is uh, converted into a superconducting state, so it will it will expel, it will withdraw all the magnetic fields. So this effect is called as Meissner effect. So Meissner effect is exhibited by the superconductor. And manaku superconductors ki manaku telisina point lo ee properties ga unnayandi. So conductance infinite ga untundi, anantam untundi, manam value under the zero uh, conductance under the resistance zero ga putti conductance infinite ga untundi and superconductors ki critical temperature untundi and then superconductors Meissner effect and effect chupisthai. Eppadaite ok normal conductor superconductor ga maari pothundo a superconductor inka diamagnetic material ga maari pothundi. Ante dar nici magnetic fields expel, expel hai pothai, remove hai pothai. Ok. So, idhi manakku Meissner effect and antar. Ok na? Right. The expulsion of magnetic fields from a material in order to become a superconductor is called as a Meissner effect. Then, uh, what are the applications? So, where the superconductivity concept is used? So, superconductors are mainly used in MRI scanning machines and NMR spectroscopy. And the medical field, lo, MRI scanning is used to the magnetic resonance imaging. Okay, na? So, e image uh, patients' yokka internal body organs image ni manam this code ani MRI scanning is used to untaru. So, MRI scanning lo powerful magnets kawali. A powerful magnets so superconductivity concepts so manufactured just that and NMR spectroscopy and organic compounds on the functional groups to structure identification ki NMR nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy use system. So, in spectroscopy lo koda we are going to use the concept of superconductivity. Then the superconductivity concept is used in magnetic levitation trains and the transport lo and the speed rails chalas high speed rail transport systems lo manamo magnetic levitation trains use system term. E magnetic levitation trains in Japan lo use so especially. So, these trains are actually uh, track pain and levitation and tail to untai. Okay, na? And track untundi, but then pain train body matum tail to untundi and the superconducting concept man use to untang kabati. Okay, na? Right? And high speed rail transport systems lo superconductivity concept man use such. Kakpati limitation and we have to maintain the critical temperature. So, critical temperature maintain is the tapa. Uh, manamu superconductivity state ni achieve chayamu. Okay, nandhi? then so the concept of superconductors is used in generators, energy storage devices, and particle accelerators. So, superconductors are also used to increase the speed of uh, computer chips. So, those are the applications, properties, definition, critical temperature, and classification of uh, superconductors. Okay, simple gandhi. So, those materials which offers no resistance to the flow of electrons are called as superconductors. A normal conductor will becomes a superconductor when that material is kept at one particular temperature and that particular temperature where a normal material will become superconductor is called as a critical temperature or transition temperature. Each material, each element has its own critical temperature, right? Then in general, during the passage of electricity through a normal conductor, there will be loss of energy in the form of heat or light. But in case of superconductors, there is no loss because resistance is zero. Resistance is zero, right? Uh, and then you know the classification. Classification we have seen it, and we have seen the properties, and uh, we have seen the applications of a superconductor. So in the properties, we have three important properties. So, uh, superconductors will be having infinite conductance because resistance is zero, conductance will be infinite and superconductors are characterized by a particular temperature at which they are going to behave as superconductors. 
so that is the temperature is called as critical temperature and superconductors exhibit a effect that is called as Meissner effect superconductors will behave as diamagnetic materials they are repelled by the magnetic field so they they virtually they suspend the magnetic field from from their internal structure so that effect is called as a Meissner effect the suspension of a magnetic field from the material in order to become a superconductor is called as Meissner effect and superconductors are most widely used in medical field, in transportation, in, gen in some devices as well as in the computer chips. Okay? So that is about uh, definition, classification, properties, applications of uh, superconductors. Thank you for watching.